Hi, my name is Bob Greenia and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Today I have been preparing, in fact the last three days I've been preparing samples for testing uh, in various locations and uh, I am looking here at some echo foil that we got from India in 2017 and uh, I just wanted to give it the, the uh, digital microscope uh, view so that we can see any color or structures going on uh, before shipping these samples off and uh, here we are uh, and we can look around the sample you can see um, there are some spheres uh, on this sample uh, and uh, they are most likely metallic blobs and when we sent this to uh, me356 for look on his uh, SEM. He said, oh, you want more of these? <laughs> that was his comment. Uh, now if I focus in on that maybe, and then I change the polarization, you'll see that we see these kind of, uh, uh, you don't see the spheres anymore, but uh, you see a kind of a pit area. So I have taken a whole bunch of images, which I will share with you here. So this is on one uh, area, and uh, you might recognize some structures on here. Now, bearing in mind this is like a, a bit like a Bogdanovich uh, discharge with flowing water and uh, high-frequency ultrasonics in there and uh, uh, pulsed uh, uh, DC-biased uh, discharges through that flowing water. So I'm just going to take you through a few images. That's a close up on what you've just seen there. So I will share these images with the video description. And here is uh, one with the uh, polarizing on. So you can see uh, that the uh, these just look like pits but they've kind of got like a an affected area around them and uh, some geometrical structure. You've got a Pentagon there, you've got, yeah, it's definitely geometric. <laughs> anyway, you can see these in your own time. But uh, if I flick to the uh, version where the polarization is turned off, you'll see you get a very different image. There we go. So we'll switch back and we'll switch forward. And so we go in here on this one. And we go back and we go forward. So you can see kind of like a spherical structure that you can't see when you're looking at it like this. Uh, and is this something similar to what we saw on the uh, Amasa uh, vibration plates? I don't know. Uh, we may find out in time. But uh, bearing in mind, this is not so much cavitation uh, spots as uh, where um, a discharge channel likely has hit. And uh, was it creating or capturing ions? Uh, and when it hit, it deposited this uh, sphere at this point. Who can say? Um, when we looked at some of these structures in the past, uh, we found precious metals uh, like gold and silver on this foil. Um, so it will be interesting to see what we see with some of the other testing approaches that we may have an opportunity to use. So here's another one, uh, same gig, if I flick there, flick back, so you can see this sphere up here. See, it just you cannot see the sphere with that polarization. Turn the polarization off, the specular comes in and you can see it. And what I've done a little further down, here we go, bump. Bump, bump. Uh, I think as we go down here, I, there, this on this one, what I've done is I've taken this image where I've got all of the lights on. And what I'm doing is I'm going around turning the various lights on. Okay, so you can see the structure of these very well by looking at this. So that's with all of the lights on. And then if I get bump, 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 
Bom. Okay, so you can really see they are spheres kind of embedded into this what's well, supposed to be mostly nickel surface. And uh, there is a piece of software that I'm considering purchasing which will take these uh, multiple images that are lit from four sides and actually create a displacement map such that I can use a 3D package um, and then displace so we'll actually be able to take this plane and rotate it around and actually see the 3D form with the color mapped on top. So I'm looking forward to uh, maybe uh, deploying that technique as we move forward. So like I say, you'll, you'll have these images to uh, look through. Here's another area with a lot of activity. And I do the same thing here. So that's all of them. Doink, 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 doink. Interesting, the, there's, there's some of these structures which you never see this on an SEM or other techniques that we've used, but there's this very blue spot here. What is that? I don't know. It's almost comically blue. And then that's with everything on. And that is turning the uh, polarization on. Okay. So this one here, <laughs> what's going on with these red spots? Look, that's with with the uh, specular in there, the polarization off, and then we've got the polarization on. Still got the red spots though. And I'm changing the focus on this one. Yeah, changing the focus on this one to do a depth of field. So that's it. So um, I am looking forward to looking at this under the SEM and maybe even trying to use these four point illuminations to create a 3D map to understand the topology a little bit more of this structure or structures rather we're seeing here. So thank you very much for the time, your time. I'll see you in the next video. This was Echo Foil.